Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a things I've made and try on because I thought it would be fun. Now I have never taken a sewing class or anything like that. Um, I was never taught by anybody, I'm completely self-taught. I don't use patterns, I just sort of wing it, so be gentle on me. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys things that I made. And uh, these aren't including any like cosplays or costumes or anything like that because I've made a few of those and these also aren't things that I'm currently working on. They are 100% completed projects that I no longer need to like tamper with and tweak. So because I've got quite a few of those that I need to finish and etc. So let's get started. So one of my first projects was this. These right here, they are a pair of pants. Um, I found this dress at a thrift store and I really, really like the pattern and I just, I have quite a few like leggings and these type of like slouchy, just comfortable type pants. Um, and I really liked the pattern of the dress but the dress itself was hideous, <laughs> I thought. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to convert it into a pair of pants. So I got some elastic and I cut it to my size and I sewed in a waistband that kind of cinches and then yeah, it goes down into these pants and they're like tight fitting but they kind of flare out at the bottom, which I don't know, it's very 70s but I like it. So um, it's not my first ever project. I don't even think I have my first ever project that I ever tried, but these are one of the first that I've ever done before, so. Next I've got a couple of jumpsuits that I made. The first jumpsuit that I made was this. It's double layered and um, again this was a dress that I really, my, my thinking for this was that I wanted a jumpsuit and I was looking online and they were too expensive for me. So I thought, why don't I just make it myself? And uh, so I got this dress at a thrift store. I had to sew in a zipper because it did not have a zipper and it was the only way I could get it on. And I really liked the pattern. I liked it better as a jumpsuit pattern than I did a, um, dress pattern because I thought it was cool that the flowers go across it and then like down one leg and what was tricky about this one was that it's double layered like this so keeping the layers like together and lined up nicely in a way that it would still fit me was a little tricky but I think it turned out really nice and it fits me quite well yes so there is my first jumpsuit black um, with the floral print and it's kind of got these like little frilly bits down here at, around the feet because of where the dress flared out and I just left it like that. I didn't like uh, hem it or anything because I just liked the way it looked. My second jumpsuit is my favorite jumpsuit. Um, again, I wanted more variety and so I got a second dress because I wanted another jumpsuit. I just like jumpsuits. They're comfortable and really, really cute. Um, and it's the thing that I really like about jumpsuits is you have the whole outfit right there ready to go. Um, you've got pants and a shirt in one <laughs> and I just really like that. So um, I found this dress, I think at like a Savers. And this one um, turned out to be a bit more like dressy, so it's a bit more formal looking. Um, but this, and this one had a zipper built in, so I didn't even have to sew in my own zipper this time. Um, and it's one layer, but these are like super flary, like the legs are wide. Because it was, I got a big dress because I kind of wanted that really wide, slouchy, like long look so that I could wear it with heels and it would like still kind of drag on the floor. I just like that. Um, for this style, I, I wanted one that I could wear like casually and one that I could wear like, I don't know, a bit dressier that was, yeah, I just liked it, okay? <laughs> 
So yeah, they're really wide-legged, like really wide. My entire body could fit in one leg. <laughs> and um, yeah, and these just have a straight edge to the bottom. Ta-da! Next, I have made quite a fair few aprons and things. So I'm gonna go into those next. Um, this was my first apron I ever made. And this I made like right after I made my pants. It was like one of my first projects along with the first pair of pants that I showed you. Um, but this was just my first attempt ever at making any sort of apron. So I had a couple of my husband's old shirts and I just decided to kind of cut out an apron and I just basically cut the edges, like the sleeves off, um, into an apron shape and even the bottom of the apron is the shirt itself. And then his second shirt I made into some pockets and the ties and then I just sewed some Velcro on and it Velcro's up around your neck and I made an apron. And this is his apron, so this one he uses. My next apron is princess themed. So I made a Snow White themed apron. It's got red on the pocket for her little dash of red. And then this is just made out of like a dress and then some scrap fabric from, I don't know, just scrap fabric. And this is scrap fabric as well. Like all of this, but this blue part is scrap fabric. And this is scrap fabric from like a dress. This was a dress once and I cut it up to make it to make it into this um, apron. But this like the white tie part I made into the white where her collar would be on her dress. And then the blue and it, I sewed it into a V again. Um, I just sort of guessed at it. I don't know. And I thought, I think it looks all right anyway. But I cut out a circle skirt, like a half circle skirt for the bottom. So it kind of has this body to it, I guess, you know? But yeah, that's my uh, second apron. My third apron, yeah, my third apron is also Disney themed. Um, this one is modeled after Mary Poppins and it's her white dress, you know, where they like jump into the painting and there's the carousel horses and all that stuff. So this is what that's modeled after. So it's got the red stripe for her little corset thing she's got going around the middle and then the frills in the front and some bows and the skirt part with the bows on the skirt part. Um, this is made out of an old t-shirt, uh, some fabric from my wedding that was left over from a backdrop and then part of a t-shirt that I had that I used as part of a Harley Quinn costume and um, like the classic Harley, I made one of those costumes and I had some leftover scrap fabric, so I used it on this. And then I sewed the little frill down the front because she's got a little frilly part in her dress. And yep, and the ties. So that is my third apron. The last thing I'm going to show you, and uh, funnily enough, this came from Mary Poppins as well, which I will explain, are these pair of shorts. Um, so the story behind these shorts was that we were gonna go to Lagoon for a date, um, and Lagoon is this like amusement park place in Utah, and we had never been and we wanted to go, and I wanted something to wear over my bathing suit. I had just got a new one piece and I wanted something to wear over it that would look cute, um, that I could get wet, that would dry out fairly quickly, and that I could wear multiple times and love. And I saw online that trend where those pants and shorts had the like tie in front and I really fell in love with them and I thought I don't have the money to buy them, so I'm gonna make them. And this skirt I had hanging in my closet, because I really liked the skirt, but I didn't wear it quite enough, that I had used once for a Mary Poppins costume. And I just thought, this is the perfect like size and material to make into a pair of those shorts. So I cut it down, and I sewed it into some shorts, and then I used the leftover fabric to make like this super long, tie that I could tie in the front and 
I think these are my favorite project that I've made so far. I just think they turned out really, really well. I don't know, and I really like them. I think they're cute, they fit me well, they're super comfortable. I just really like them, I don't know. Yeah. But those are my last. Anyway, I know that wasn't a whole ton, um, but I do hope that you enjoyed the ones that I did show you. If you want another one, comment down below because I do have a lot more projects um, going on that I could show you guys if you want a part two. I also have like costumes and things that I've made and modified that I could show you if you want me to do like a costume video that I have made. Uh, yeah, comment it down below if you want it and also give it a big thumbs up if you want a part two on more things that I have made and trying them on and such and seeing how they fit and how I style them and such. So yeah, and that is all that I have. So I shall see you guys next time. Subscribe if you're not.